Hi, John. My name is Michael. Glad you asked. All right. Now, why am I saying hi, John? And why did I title this video, I'm Under Attack? All right. So this all started this morning. Um, and by the way, I am going to get to the headlines and uh, get back to the the Trump or Biden series. What's going on here? Oh, uh, this series, Trump or Biden later. But I want to talk about the video I put up last night. Uh, I got some comments on it. And I want to read those comments and go through what just happened this morning. Uh, it's either paranoia or it's well, there's an expression that says, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get you. So the nature of this subject matter, statehood for Artsakh, the Armenian genocide, this this ethnic and religious conflict that's been raging for centuries. Um, so let me show you, uh, go through what I'm talking about now. I don't want to watch the video. I just want to read the comments right here. All right, so uh, let's start with the oldest one. I don't know why they're out of order. So 15 hours ago, one hour ago, three hours ago. So let's just go through this real quick in chronological order. So San P, I believe, is an, a non-native English speaker just based on the writing here. But I think I can interpret accurately what San P is saying. Christians under attack more than one month period not USA, but not any Christian country helping Armenia. Same time, Muslim country have unity in Turkey and Pakistan helping uh, Azer Azerbaijan. So essentially saying Christians are under attack for more than a month, not in the USA, but there's no Christian country helping Armenia, but there are Muslim countries helping Azerbaijan such as Turkey and Pakistan. Okay, so that's really why I'm doing this. And I'm going to reemphasize this over and over again in this, in this, try and make this a short video. Uh, subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Uh, right now is like 34 right here, up here, 34 subscribers. So those have ticked up since I started. I just started this beginning of this week or late last week, and we had like 24 subscribers. So we've ticked up to 34 subscribers. That number needs to go up and up and up and up, and the viewerships need to go up and up. We need to spread the word about what's going on. If you're a Christian and you care about what's going on in the world, Christians on the other side of the world are still a part of your family. And if they get bombed, it means you, you're getting bombed. And if you can't feel it, you may feel it if you don't pay attention. All right. <laughs> My soapbox, I'll step up and down off of that every now and then. Now, Bonnie Creighton. Now, I did an episode yesterday talking about uh, reading uh, a comment she put made on another video. Full disclosure, that's mom. That's my number one fan. Um, we don't have the same last name. I, she was remarried, but that's my mom, Bonnie Creighton. So thank you, son, for answering my questions. I hope it helped other viewers understand as well. And I and I'm in agreement. I hope the video I put up yesterday explains why the heck I'm doing this. And now we wait. Will America, one nation under God, extend a helping helping hand to a struggling member of the body of Christ? Four question marks. Now here's here's where uh, the a little bit of curiosity happened this morning, and this was only posted an hour ago. And when it was first posted, this uh, a John Smith. First of all, John Smith. Uh, when I first opened this up, there was no name and there's no picture or anything. It's just the J. Um, there was no name here. And when I clicked on it, you see how the, the hand comes up means that's an active link to something. I clicked on it and there was an error. And then I went and checked three other devices and it was all the same, except you couldn't click on it anymore. There was just a little dot here and a, and a silhouette face over here. And I checked on two computers and two phones, and there was no name. So for me, that was curious. I didn't understand why that was. And then uh, let's just read what John Smith commented. As a Christian Armenian, I am so glad to hear you speaking and sharing this information. Would you tell us your name? I am sharing your videos to friends on Facebook. Thank you. Very straightforward. And um, I'm giving the benefit of the doubt to John Smith. I... I I'm going to say you are really John Smith and you, this is a genuine sentiment here. 
but there was no name up here at first and that went to an error and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I reached out to mom and she looked up and she's the one said, John Smith. She's like, John Smith, that's not an Armenian name. So a little bit of paranoia maybe, or maybe it's, I don't know if you go to my other channel, tales of truth and look in the comments, at least half of the comments are, are, um, combative. They are not happy with what I'm doing. Uh, and so I expect to get some of that here. Um, I mean, seriously, there are people over there saying, ah, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. You're lying. And the Azerbaijanis want their land and they, the Armenians are bad and they've hurt our Azerbaijanis or they get what's coming to them. I mean, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, my radar is up a little bit when I'm reading comments. And so I get this one and there's no name. And I'm like, well, would you tell us your name? Uh, I'm sharing your videos to friends on Facebook. Thank you. Now, if this is straightforward, John, uh, that's exactly what I want all of you to do. Everybody should be sharing this on their social media. Um, that number, that subscriber number, again, that needs to go up and up and up. So if you're watching this and you have not subscribed, subscribe. But let me go through this and and, and share the thought process I had this morning. Um, mom says, what Armenian goes by the name of John Smith? No, number one, it's the most common name. So if you're John Smith, if you are John Smith, then... You know, you know, you've had to live with that name and, and maybe you're proud of that. And that's great. It's like, it's a nice, strong name, John Smith. But it, if you're also just a person online and you don't want to use your real name, you're going to pick a John Smith or a John Doe. You're going to pick a, you know, some kind of generic name. And people do that. I've done that. I've, you know, used other names online uh, because I just don't want to put my name up there. So, uh Again, both sides, either this is somebody pretending to be John Smith for some nefarious reason, or it's a real John Smith, or it's a, 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 a sincere Christian Armenian that just would rather not use their actual name. Maybe it's an Armenian named John Smith, or Armenian on your mother's side. Anyway, so I'm glad to hear you speaking, sharing this information. Would you tell us your name? That's what kind of, I'm like, would you tell us your name? Yeah, so... You can go on through a bunch of these videos and find my name or go to the other, the Tales of Truth YouTube channel. And my name is in the lower third when I'm interviewing some historians, et cetera. It's like my name is out there. Um, I'm sharing videos with friends on Facebook. Thank you. So got a little bit paranoid. Mom's feedback fed my paranoia. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe this is some tech person at YouTube or Google that you know, is on the side of the Azeris and don't want, you know, but if they're on that, on, if they work on the tech side, then they certainly know my name. They know who I am. They, you know, so I went through all of these gyrations this morning, all within an hour. You know, this is all fresh. So just to say I am under attack in some way in John Smith, forgive me for, for, if you are really John Smith, forgive me for uh, doubting you. My name is Michael Gavlak. There you go. Um, and But the facts of the matter are I'm working with people who do want their identities concealed. I have non-disclosure agreement with people. Um, I mean, Sogolman Tulerian is the greatest hero of the Armenian people. And because of that, he's also the greatest enemy of, of the Turks, all right. I mean, I don't mean all Turks. Turks have been lied to. I'll get into that in another episode. But let me just conclude with this. I'm going to be attacked for what I'm doing. If you, if you raise your head and those subscriber numbers go up and up and up and our videos get shared and people start watching and anybody that get, rises in prominence is going to get attacked. But I'm certainly getting attacked on the other YouTube, in the comments on the other YouTube channel. And I expect it to happen here. And just because you're being attacked, should you stop doing what you're doing? No, it actually means you're you're doing the right thing. Um, and so let me just finish with mom's thoughts. A uh, little email from mom. You don't have to respond to this, okay? And this was within an hour ago. I've had thoughts, lots of thoughts, all good ones, about what you're doing currently is part of God's plan for sure. Because you are publicly bringing attention to the Christian nation of Armenia, world news, in my spirit, the words expect attack came. This John Smith feels like an attempt at that of some kind. Maybe. No Christian Armenian goes by the name of John Smith. Well, 
that's not true. I imagine there are probably some Armenians named John Smith. Furthermore, if an Azerbaijan if an Azerbaijani wanted to attack your platform in some way, he, she would do it openly in your face, not hidden. Right. Exactly. Which kind of removes the paranoia about this John Smith, uh, I, uh, situation. However, if anyone in our government at some level wants information or what, for whatever reason, it might be presented in this way. I know that sounds wild. The government has enough resources so they can zero on zero in on everything we do. John Smith could be nothing more than a computer troll with too much time on his, her hands and spends all day stirring the pots of, of the internet for fun. Uh, I'm going to discount that. That's probably not the case. Uh, I, I don't know that a, a troll would say we're, sh I'm sharing your videos on, on Facebook. Now, again, I, I looked at Facebook and, um, there was an uptick around the time of uptick in viewership because you can, I mean, I didn't look at Facebook. I looked at the YouTube, the back end, and you can see how many people are watching. And my mom has shared this twice on her Facebook page. And so all of those upticks, whenever she shares, there's an uptick in people watching. So I don't know, maybe John did share it and there's an uptick. So that, but it didn't seem like there was a significant uptick. We'll see. But I did have a strong impression because of the nature of the subject you are pursuing that you should expect attack. I don't mean your personal life or the family. Well, I mean, yeah, my family could get attacked, but I mean on the subject at hand. Their goal would be to try to shut you down, silence your voice. I do, I do, I do keep you, Armin, at all in my prayers without ceasing. Love you. All right. So let me just finish this up, wrap this up here. Um, John, I apologize if you're really John Smith. I apologize for the doubts. Um, keep sharing on Facebook. Subscribe, John. And leave a comment on this video because I've made a big deal out of your comment. Um, if you're watching, really, leave a comment and we'll start a dialogue and I'll, maybe I'll respond in the comments. But I did a whole video for John Smith. Um, subscribe and share. And click the, uh, the notification bell. You know, because if you want to get these videos without having to search YouTube or go back to, you know, your subscriptions, the, the, the bell will bring up the videos as I post them. You'll get notified right away. All right. That's it. Um, thank you, everyone. Let's get those numbers up.